죄송해요. 죄송해요. What does it mean? Today, on one Korean word today here at the angle, we are going to talk about the word 죄송해요. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time only here at the angle. Word number 206. This is pronounced as a four syllable word. The first syllable is tue, second syllable is song, third syllable is he, and the fourth syllable is yo. Pronounce it with me. The word chesongheyo is a polite way of saying I'm sorry. This is less formal as compared to chesonghamnida. How do we spell chesongheyo in Hangul? Let's start with the first syllable. First, we need to draw a Jiyut character, followed by an O character, followed by an E character. And if you would notice, the combination of the O and E character results to the W sound. For the second syllable song, we need to draw first a Jiyut character, followed by an O character, followed by an E character. For the third syllable He, we need to draw first a Hyo character, Followed by the E character. And for the last syllable, Yo, we need to draw first a no sound or a placeholder Yang, followed by the Yo character itself. And then we just have to combine the hangul for each of these syllables to form the hangul of the word Chesong Heo. Now let's try to look into this example English phrase. It says, I'm sorry. Again, it says, I'm sorry. And as mentioned earlier, the Korean translation of this is Chesong Heo. Again, it's Chesong Heo. If you would remember, one among the earlier words discussed on this channel is Chesong Hamnida. This is actually the same as Chesong Heo in terms of meaning, but they differ in terms of formality. Since Chesong Hamnida is used in a formal manner, this could be used on formal settings like the corporate setting or when talking to people that has authority. On the other hand, Chesong Heo is a not so formal way of saying I'm sorry, but this is still a polite way of saying it. This could be used to people that are older than us or to strangers. Again, Chesong Hamnida is a formal form and Chesong Heo is an informal but polite form. And with that, you've just learned Chesong Heo. Now let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 196 to 205. But don't forget our word for today, word number 206, Chesong Heo, which means I'm sorry in a polite manner. The first word for our review is word number 205, bang, which means room or chamber. Word number 204 is noto, which means you too. Word number 203 is actually a phrase, chalbone, which means have a nice day in an informal manner. Word tag 202 is actually a particle, taji, which is used to say up to or until. Word tag 201 is esso. This is actually a particle, which is used to say from, in, or at. Word number 200 is gamja, and this is the Korean noun for potato. Word number 199 is banchingu, which literally means half friend, but this could also be used as classmate. Word number 198 is woyoil, which is the Korean term for Monday. Word number 197 is putso, 
which means from. And the last for our review, word number 196, Tengil, which means birthday. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time over here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words. Kiyoun Kangaji. What does this sentence mean? If you notice, the word in red letter is Kiyoun. Because today, on one Korean word a day here at Day Angle, we are going to study about the word. Kion. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time on here at Day Hangul. Word number 207. Kion. Kion. This is pronounced as a three-syllable word. The first syllable is ki, second syllable is yo, and the third syllable is un. Pronounce it with me. Kion. The meaning of the word kion is cute. This is an adjective. Again, kion means cute. How do we write kion in Hangul? Let's start with the first syllable. First, we need to draw a Gyo character, followed by an U character, followed by an E character. And if you would notice, the combination of the U and the E character results to the we sound. Next, to the second syllable, Yo. And for the last syllable, Un, we need to draw first a no sound Iyong, followed by the U character, followed by the Nian character. And then we just have to combine this to form the Hangul of Kion. Now let's try to look into this example English phrase. It says cute puppy. Again, it's cute puppy. The Korean translation of cute puppy is Kion Kangaji. Again, it's Kion Kangaji. The first part of the phrase is Kion, which is our word for today. And we already know that it means cute. The second part of the phrase is kangaji, and this is the Korean term for a puppy or a young dog. So if we combine kyoun and kangaji, it would result to a phrase which means cute puppy. And with that, you've just learned kyoun. Now let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 197 to 206. But don't forget our word for today, word number 207, Kiyoun, which means cute. Word number 206 is Tresongeo, which means I'm sorry. Word number 205 is bang, which means room or chamber. Word number 204 is nodo, which means you too. Word tag 203 is jalbone. This is actually a phrase which means have a nice day in an informal manner. Word tag 202 is kaji. This is a particle which means up to or until. Word tag 201 is eso. This is another particle which is used to say from, in, or at. Word number 200 is gamja, and this is a Korean noun for potato.
Word number 199 is ban chingo. This literally means half friend, but this could also be used as classmate. Word number 198 is wo which means Monday. And the last for our review is word number 197, butso, which means from. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time, only here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words. Cha isoyo. What does it mean? If you notice, the word in red letter is cha. Because today, on one Korean word a day here at Day Hangul, we are going to study about the word. Cha. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time over here at Day Hangul. Word number 208. Cha. Cha. This is composed of just one syllable, and this is pronounced as cha. Here are some of the possible meanings of cha in Korean. One is car, and second one is tea. Again, it's car or tea. How do we write cha in Hangul? This is composed of just two characters. The first character is the chiot character, and the second one is the a character. We just need to combine this to form the hangul of the word cha. Now let's try to look into this example sentence. It says, Do you have a car? Again, do you have a car? The Korean translation of this sentence is cha soyo. Cha soyo. The first part of the Korean translation is cha. We already mentioned that cha could mean car or tea in Korean, but for this case, it means car. The second part of the translation is isoyo, which means do you have this or there is. So, when someone says cha isoyo with a rising intonation, it means that person is asking if do you have a car. On another sense, you could also use this to answer that question itself. When you are asked, do you have a car? Your answer is, yes, I have a car. And the Korean translation of, yes, I have a car is, ne, cha isoyo. Again, when I say, cha isoyo, it's the same as asking, do you have a car? And when I say, cha isoyo, it's the same as answering, I have a car. And with that, you've just learned, now let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 198 to 207. But don't forget our word for today, word number 208, cha, which could mean car or tea. Word number 207 is kion, which means cute. Word number 206 is which means I'm sorry in a polite manner. Word number 205 is bang, which means room or chamber. Word number 204 is nodo, which means you too. Word tag 203 is actually a phrase, chalbone, which means have a nice day 
in an informal manner. Word tag 202 is actually a particle, kaji, which is used to say up to or until. For word number 201, we have another particle which is eso, which is used to say from, in, or at. Word number 200 is kamja, which is the Korean noun for potato. Word number 199 is pan which means half friend or classmate. Word number 198 is huayo which means Monday, which is one among the days of the week. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time over here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words. Boom Young Pa. What does it mean? If you notice, the word in red letter is Young Pa. Because today, on one Korean word today here at Day Hangul, we are going to study about the word. Young pa. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time only here at Day Hangul. Word number 209. Young pa. Young pa. This is pronounced as a two-syllable word. The first syllable is yang, and the second syllable is pa. Pronounce it with me. Yang pa. Yang pa. Our word for today, yang pa, is simply the Korean term for onion. Again, this is the Korean term for the vegetable, onion. How do you write yang pa in Hangul? Let's start with the first syllable. To write the syllable yang, we need to draw first a placeholder or a no sound yang, followed by the ya character, followed by the yang character. For the second syllable pa, we need to draw first a p of character, followed by an a character. And then we just have to combine the hangul for each of these two syllables to form the hangul of the word yang pa. Now let's try to look into this example English term. It says spring onion. Again, it says spring onion. The Korean translation of this term is pom yang pa. Again, it's pom yang pa. The first part of the term is bom, which we already tackled on this channel, and it means spring. The second part of the term is yang pa, which is our word for today which we already know as onion. So, when we say bom yang pa, it simply means spring onion. And spring onion is just a specific type of onion. And with that, you've just learned yang pa. Now let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 199 to 208. But don't forget our word for today, word number 209, yang pa, which means onion. Word number 208, the first word for our review is cha, which means car or tea. Word number 207 is kyon, which means cute. Word number 206 is which means I'm sorry in a polite manner. Word number 205 is bang, which means room or chamber.
word number 204 is nodo, which means you too. Word tag 203 is actually a phrase, chalbone, which means have a nice day in an informal manner. Word tag 202 is actually a particle, kachi, which is used to say up to or until this time or location. Word number 201 is another particle, esso, which is used to say from, in, or at. Word number 200 is kamja, which means potato. And the last word for our review, word number 199, panchingu, which means half friend or classmate. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time, only here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words. What does this sentence mean? If you notice, the word in red letter is 수영을. Because today, on one Korean word a day here at Day Hangul, we're going to study about the word suyong. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time over here at Day Hangul. Word number 210. Suyong. Suyong. This is pronounced as a two syllable word. The first syllable is su and the second syllable is yong. Pronounce it with me. Suyong. Suyong. The word suyong is the Korean term for swimming. Again, this is the Korean term for swimming. How do we write suyong in Hangul? Let's start with the first syllable. To be able to write the syllable su, we need to draw first a seot character followed by the u character. For the second syllable yong, we need to draw first a no sound yung followed by the ya character followed by the yung character. And then we just have to combine the hangul for each of these two syllables to form the hangul of the word suyong. Now let's try to look into this example sentence. It says, I like swimming. Again, I like swimming. The Korean translation of this is, 저는 수영을 좋아합니다. Again, it's 저는 수영을 좋아합니다. The first part of this sentence is 저는. 저 means I, and 는 is just a topic or a subject particle. If you could remember, we have been using 나는 as I on our previous sentences, but this time we use 저는. And please know that 저 is just a more formal version of 나, and they both mean I. Next part of the sentence is 수영을. The 수영 part is our word for today, which means swimming. And the 을 part is just an, a particle added to 수영 to indicate that this is the object of the sentence. And the last part of the sentence is 좋아합니다. And this is used to say I like it in a formal manner. If you notice, this is considered a formal sentence since we use a formal subject and a formal verb. So, if we will combine this, it would result to a sentence that means, I like swimming. And with that, you just learned suyong. Now, let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 200 to 209. But don't forget our word for today, word number 210, Suyong. 
which means swimming. Word number 209, our first word for our review is yangpa, which means onion. Word number 208 is cha, which means car or tea. Word number 207 is kion, which means cute. Word number 206 is which means I'm sorry in a polite manner. Word number 205 is pang, which means room or chamber. Word number 204 is nodo, which means you too. Word number 203 is actually a phrase, chalbone, which means have a nice day in an informal manner. Word number 202 is actually a particle, kaje, which is used to say up to or until this time or location. Word number 201 is esso. This is another particle used to indicate from, in, or at location. And the last word for our review is word number 200, gamja, which means potato. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time, only here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words.